Hey guys, welcome back to News with Science, where we discuss comics, movies, games, and more. Here to talk to you about Jeremy Renner, and this is a bit of an update. I'm just letting you know, right off the bat, Jeremy Renner is okay. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and click on the bell notification so y'all don't miss anything. I post videos on the daily, and I do live streams from time to time, so definitely be sure to join me here on the channel. Your subscription really helps out the channel a lot. Also, one other thing I really want to clarify, and I shouldn't really be doing this because I already clarified in both videos that I made about Jeremy Renner. The first one being titled, Jeremy Renner may not be able to walk again, dot, dot, dot. I've actually updated the title on that video, and then I retitled it to Jeremy Renner may not be able to walk again, dot, dot, dot. Rumored, watch the follow-up video, which is another video I did about the situation. And that video is titled, Jeremy Renner is back at home recovering. So you should watch that one as well. But regardless of the fact is that I even specified like I was very specific about how skeptical I was about the original story where some company, I think it was Q Radar or Fandom Wire, actually posted a story saying that he may not be able to walk again due to the fact that he's going to get amputated, which turned out to be a total farce. It was not true whatsoever. And I just wanted to clarify that again. And this is going to be the last time that I do that. I've gotten some comments and responses saying that I made a clickbait video when in fact that the thumbnail that you see on those videos are actual photos of Jeremy Renner and his family and doctors surrounding him. There's nothing clickbaity about that thumbnail. And as for the title, the reason why I titled it Jeremy Renner not be able to walk again was titled that way because one, I doubt that that was the case. I doubt that he was going to get his legs amputated. And two, I titled it that way so it can coincide with the article that I was going to read anyways. And even in the middle and towards the end, I still said, hey, take this as a rumor because this is being reported. This is not actual concrete, not facts. The family did not come out and speak out about this. They didn't confirm about this. This is some article that I found. I thought it was interesting, but I still shared my skepticism. So it's only being reported. So don't go out and killing the messenger because that's all I am in the end of the day. I'm just talking about this stuff. It's not me spouting out these lies or rumors. It's just me talking about the reports that's going on online right now. But now that we got all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and move forward and let's talk about his current situation. Right now, Jeremy Renner is receiving actual therapy in his home from what I recall. In this article coming from Spiel Times, it talks about how he will be able to walk soon, but I think he's not going to be able to walk for at least a couple of months, in my opinion, due to the severity of his injury. Remember, he's broken like about 30 bones. Hollywood actor Jeremy Renner is almost inseparable from his identity as Hawkeye from Marvel. At the beginning of the year, the 52-year-old star suffered a near-fatal accident in the snow. His condition was critical for quite some time, but stabilized after intensive care. But how much he has recovered and will he be able to walk soon? Here's an update on Jeremy Renner's post-accident health as shared by the Marvel's Hawkeye star himself. And this is his health update. And this photo right here was posted on his Instagram. Now, I think we're having a good look at his good leg where his injured leg was actually the left one from what it looks like, at least in this angle. On his Instagram and Twitter accounts, Jeremy Renner shared a picture of himself from a physical rehabilitation session. In the caption, the actor revealed that 30 of his bones were broken in the accident. I can't imagine how painful that is. I want to thank everyone for their messages and thoughtfulness. Much love and appreciation to you all. These 30 plus broken bones will mend, grow stronger, just like the love and bound with family and friends deepens. And that's the picture that you're looking at right here. I still have it up. That's him right there just resting and going through some physical therapy. And Jeremy Renner also thanked his fans, friends, and family for their thoughtfulness during this difficult time. He spoke about how the year started off with the tragedy for his entire family. Marvel's Captain America star Chris Evans even sent his love out to his Hawkeye co-star on Twitter and jokingly asked if anyone has checked on the snowcat in the vehicle that injured him. And then he responded with, love you, brother. I did check on that snowcat. She needs some fuel. A New Year's storm hit the U.S., which resulted in heavy snowfall across many states. Jeremy Renner had used his own snowplow to rescue one of his family members stuck in the snow. And you already know the story. I already covered that in previous videos. So if you want to go ahead and watch those, I'll leave an annotation and links down in the description box below. If you want to go ahead and check out those original videos. Again, guys, back to that original video I posted. Just disregard it. He's okay. Those rumors and reports about him getting his legs amputated. Somebody just posted that just to do some clout chasing. And I'm glad that I actually made a video on it because now whoever made that report or, you know, decided to fabricate some false narrative or whatever, they're going to get a lot of backlash now. Now, that doesn't mean go ahead and harass these people. Don't do that. But I'm just saying 
their credibility has been damaged due to the fact that they fabricated such a fake story. That bothered me because this is a person, you know. He, yeah, he's a celebrity and all, but in the end of the day, he's he's someone's dad and you know son, friend, and whatever. He's a person. He's just doing a job. And, you know, he was just trying to help somebody. And, then you know, unfortunately, he got injured. But anyways, I'm glad he's going to be okay. As far as how long it's going to take for him to heal, because, you know, he did break 30 bones. I'm not entirely sure. It could probably take several months for him to heal before then and before we start to see him walk again and stuff like that. And also some other people uh, said that there were some videos and whatever of him walking or trying to walk again. I couldn't find videos of that. But if you did, let me know uh, where to look. I'm sure it's Google, but I couldn't find anything. But if you have the right links, please post them down in the comment section below and i'll click it for myself so i can take a look anyways that's all i got for you today thank you all so much for watching be sure to like comment subscribe and click on the bell notification so y'all don't miss anything and i'll see you all in the next comic panel